Hey Life Coast Church, Pastor Mike here out here in my lanai and I am excited that this will probably be the last time that I have to come to you from our lanai because it really is kind of hot out here in the summertime and that's because this Sunday we're finally re-entering Belterre Elementary this Sunday, August 9th. Holly and I are so excited, the leadership team is excited because we believe that God created his family to be together. And I know this has been a hard season. I know it's been tough to be able to get together. We've been in quarantine or a little nervous about big gatherings, but we've been doing a great job with live stream. Our crews have been doing a great job trying to keep us together. But now's the time we feel the Lord is calling us back together presently into the school so that we can fellowship together, encourage one another, lift one another up, pray and worship together and learn and grow in the word of God together. That's God's intention for us. And that's going to start this Sunday, August 9th. Now, I understand there's still some of our body who are feeling compromised or, or maybe concerned. You're going to give it a wait, see, and see how things go. Totally understand that. You're fully empowered to stay home uh, and watch live stream at 1030. We've got a full live stream team all equipped uh, just like we weren't doing service. We're going to be in your home. We're going to be watching your comments. We're going to be praying for you when you write your prayer request in the comment section. So we want you to feel like not that you're disconnected and being left out, but you're part of the family. You're part of the service as much as as possible and we can't wait for this Sunday because whether you're present or whether you're in live stream God's gonna bring us back together now a few things I gotta remind you of if you haven't heard already or if you got our emails we do have to follow some protocol and some guidelines because we meet in the school a government building they have asked us to follow a few guidelines to make sure we keep the place safe now when I say these things I don't want you to feel like there's the government attacking our faith that's not at all. The, the school administration works very well with, with uh, us as Life Coast and other churches. All this is is to make sure we're doing everything humanly possible to keep the place clean and safe so that teachers and kids can re-enter the school without any concern about us being there. Let's be honest. They don't have to let us be in there, so we want to follow the rules and send a great message that we're partnering with them for teachers, kids, in this community. So a few things, our guest services team upon your arrival will have to take your temperature. Don't worry, it's not a shake the thermometer and stick it in your tongue, it's just a forehead thermometer. We're gonna just in a second find out where your temperature is. We gotta be able to tell the school we're doing that. And then we have three questions we need to ask you. Have you tested positive? Have you been in contact with anyone who has COVID? And are there any, do you have any symptoms currently? The last thing I need to tell you is we're asking, we're gonna have all of our team, serve team people wearing masks. And uh, that's just because we wanna tell the school and you we're taking those precautions. We're asking you to wear a mask from your car to your seat in the service, and then you can take them off to worship and to, and to listen to the word. Um, just from your car to the seat, and that's just, uh, again, to be precautious, to be safe, and to send the right message to those in our family that we love. Again, we're asking, and you've heard before, we're not going to do affectionate hugs and uh, uh, firm handshakes. Please hear me on this. Uh, we want to give air hugs and air high fives, things like that, uh, just for the, for the current season just so that we can uh, send that right message. We're doing everything we can to be able to gather together in full fellowship and love, but taking those precautions and safety measures. Also, we're having a family service in one room in the cafeteria. We're not gonna use multiple rooms at this time. Therefore, kids, uh, families are all included. Now, Pastor Jeff's worked out a, a schematic so that families with kids will, will actually be at tables around the perimeter. And our Life Coast Kids team has, has done an amazing job. They're going to have some activities for kids uh, to focus on while you or they are listening to the message and enjoying worship. So thank you, Life Coast Kids. And uh, so and we're also going to have aisles uh, um, and rows just like we did before, but they're going to be separated and distanced farther than they were. That way you feel comfortable, you feel safe to be able to worship and listen to the word without any concern. So our teams are doing a great job coming together. Our live stream teams, our worship team, our Life Coast teams, our guest service team have, have been meeting and pre-planning and praying especially that we can come together and send the right message 
and uh, that we are, are doing all things humanly possible to stay safe and show love to one, uh, one another and to the school that's allowing us to be there. So give it up uh, for all of our teams that are doing that, working so hard, who have been working so hard for the last few months for that. And that brings me to our next series. We believe that it is time to get back into the Word of God together. And as Paul says, as a church, be of the same mind and be of the same spirit and purpose. He says that in Philippians. And so this Sunday, we're starting a series throughout the rest of August and a little bit of September on the book of Philippians. And we're going to be talking about how to have a heavenly mindset instead of an earthly mindset. You know, in the midst of so much tension and upheaval in this world, it's hard not to focus on all the world events and, and, all of, and not let the emotions uh, get the best of us, right? It's hard not to. The media is pummeling us with everything that they're seeing and what we're supposed to be seeing or what they're telling us we should be seeing. And our emotions get stirred up. And as much as we're trying, many times our earthly minds get the better of us. Some fall back and fall prey to fear and anxiety and worry. You know, and it is a hard time right now, but they let some of their behaviors or actions or even their faith get dictated by that worry and fear. And so sometimes we even doubt if God's even in charge. Others on the other hand are charging forward. Nothing's going to thwart me from its achieving and it's succeeding at my goals. You know what, though? God is the one in charge, even in this season of upheaval and con uh, conflict and tension. God is up to incredible things. But in order for us to see that and receive peace that he has for us when we believe that, we need to, uh, to change our earthly mindset into a heavenly mindset. In other words, we need to see and think and, and speak the things that he is seeing, thinking, and speaking. And that requires us to come into alignment with what God is doing around us. And so that's what Philippians is all going to be about. we got five weeks of messages and we're not going to stop there. We've created devotionals to last all week long each week of the series. That means on Monday you're going to get Philippians 1. On Tuesday, a little bit later in Philippians 1. We're going to just ask you to join us in studying the Word of God together. Those devotionals are going to have applicational and next steps to them. So you can apply what you're learning to your daily life and especially as it relates to what we're going through right now. Because here's what I believe. When we think things are at their darkest, God is up to something incredible. That's when He seems to be working the most. Do we see it? Do we feel it? And are we participating in it? That's going to take a heavenly mindset. So we're going to ask you starting this Sunday, listen to the message. Start getting involved in the devotionals. If you're part of teams or groups, get together with your group and go through those devotionals and those questions because I think this season is going to be the best yet for Life Goes Church and the best is yet to come. So again, we're excited to come together this Sunday and uh, excited to see one another or hear from one another, uh, whether it's physical or online. And, and believe with me, believe with me that God is up to something incredible and he's going to use us, every one of us in the Life Coast Church family to get his work done. So be praying for this week as we enter the school. Pray for safety. Pray for emotions and apprehensions. Pray for the body to feel one, even if we're separated, so that we can move forward with God's purposes. I love you, Life Coach. Holly and I have been missing you like crazy. There's some that we haven't yet been able to connect with. We can't wait to connect back with you. And this Sunday is going to be an exciting start to a new season. We talk to you this Sunday, whether it's in person or online. Love you, Life Coast.